Social neuroscience continued. I've put off the anatomy and physiology a long, long time, and um, mostly because it's like a reward for learning about, you know, like awareness and attention and, you know, needing your glasses. But I'm making neuroscience and more social thinking and thoughts and trying to plan kind of my way through social neuroscience because I'm a little bit autistic so I don't get why so much attention is paid to the emotions and the behavior and the gesture and the names and um, on and on and on. They just baffle me, you know? It's like, um, I think um, less, less, less um, fun and exciting than just like, uh, you know, asking some pretty girl out on a date. Or if there's a woman who's neutral or, or human and neutral, the, the neutral relationship forming. But kind of the internet and I think some of the, the bad consequences for just doing everything on a device was such a powerful reward system you know it's it's a big stimulus and then that big reward you get that big old fat meal delivered you get that reward of gambling and winning video games you know having a thousand kills like the younger younger um man i used to uh, live in a house with who would just fight and kill all night on his computer just going nuts and um, part of the social neuroscience has to do with a more comedic perspective at least for me with you know people who get butterflies in their stomach or who can't make it to the bathroom because they accidentally just like, uh, you know, like, like the little boy in any four, they just went <laughs> and everything just, you know, kind of went to crap. But I think that's kind of a good explanation for how I perceive social neuroscience, you know? Better to poop your pants. than to get constipated, you know? It's like, well, if you're really, 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 really stuck up there, you know, and just can't get the bowels going, then I think medically you might need to get treated or not be so emotionally restricted. In other words, Go yell North Korea, North Korea, smart to the service animal, make service animal get Coca-Cola. Rather than staring in the mirror and just hating the world and hating the body and the brain and the mind, you know, the self a lot of times. brain, mind, self, and body, you know, oh, I, I have, uh, I got fat arms, they're flabby, saggy, they look like, uh, look like a, a, a glop of, like, peanut butter, with little, 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 little crunchy parts, it's like, gosh, 
just fat everywhere. Rather than like me when I was a fat kid who was like, yeah, I am not gonna freaking go hungry. I am so fat. That big old fat belly belly jelly, my sister used to say, to let people know, you know, and the world, whoever, fat kids are just as beautiful. But being skinny and fast and almost like, you know, frantically like moving around, I don't really get very much excitement for kind of like my social worker saying, oh, the other night you were really raising your voice loud. And it's in the wrong voice, but still I was and I look like I hadn't slept in days. I must have been just on a binge. And for some people, they can't control, you know, the emotions and the reward system with all the chemicals and, you know, staying up for a week and just doing art. My eyes would hurt. My eyes already hurt from these YouTube videos. And my voice hurts from explaining, have you ever? And explaining the neural philosophy and the neuroscience and the cognitive science and um, a lot of uh, work I've done over the last few years, but haven't sat down yet to write with words. So the video book, you know, is my social gesture to the world. And almost a plea for, you know, not only forgiveness, but for recognition, there doesn't always have to be a person with a constructed system and processes when there can simply be a brain, mind, and body and then go on from there. Or have a system of processes and be an ego and like ethos and super ego and the shadow and concentrated and focused psychology. Kind of like a psychiatrist with their glasses where they just stare and they stare and they stare, you know? It's like you get far enough in learning, then you do just start to stare. And people are like, why are you looking so long? And can cause, you know, an emotion for some people. It can cause a social dilemma. But I think the more that the brain stops being treated as a word, a phrase, a description, a system and processes, and more as a mind, brain, body, a brain and body, and a world, the brain, body, and mind inhabit and share socially, with family, art, so have you ever taken like a 30 minute shower twice a day? But not paid your electric bill
really dumb, but um, a little bit for an explanation of the less restrained and more free social brain, social mind, social body, not only doing spontaneous bodily activities like emotion, emotion, Going up to someone being like, man, you, <laughs> I mean, maybe risky though. If you were, you were taking like two 30 minute showers a day for like a year and not gotten an electric bill <laughs> and not paid one. The risk has to do with them maybe being a, you know, climate change activist. And they're like, oh my gosh, you are killing us all. We're going to be dead in a few years from you thinking about yourself and not the world. But have you ever tried to start a conversation socially on public transportation in Seattle, Washington, especially? There was this uh, good friend of mine in college, Lisa. It's the funniest girl I've ever been around. She was from Bonnie Lake, Native American. And we talk about the stink guy. You know, that stink guy, you know. That. Or, you know, if you're using the left, the left stink, you know, but... I don't know, I think the right stink guy is a little more uh, pungent. You know, the... And then like the uh, death stare, you know. No jaw most of the time. Most of the time it is just death. You wear camouflage because you wanna hunt? I thought you were a white nationalist supremacist, you know? It's like, I thought you were just some racist, and you're saying you're gonna hunt also? And they're like, you know, upset because they're trying to, you know, consciously understand the person they're seeing who's got camouflage and who they've said is a white nationalist racist, and then the right rat the white racist nationalists, they have, you know, decided upon with their thinking, also wants to hunt animals. Too much emotion, too much emotion. And the Consistency with the obnoxiousness has to do with the available options and you just have a conversation about some part of life. Did you see that Facebook post? Did you see that meme on Instagram? Have you been on Twitter lately? People are just typing less and less on there and just making you distracted. <laughs>